Steve, I will. Hi, I'm Brett Puck, and let's have a chat about the currently melting snowman that is the Colorado Avalanche. The Avs come off not only their worst season ever, but also one of the worst seasons ever in the history of the NHL. Like, opening season of the Atlanta Thrashers bad. The came away with 22 wins in 48 points, including in January, where they won a single game, and that was only through the grace of overtime. The worst moment of the entire season was an absolutely humiliating 10-1 loss to the Montreal Canadiens. People talk about trading players for a bag of pucks. Well, this team could have been beaten by a bag of pucks. Elite level players like Duchesne and Landeskog, guys who have been consistent 50-point scorers their entire careers, look lost. Whilst the lower end of the team look like they barely deserve to be playing ice hockey in England. As well as finishing dead last in the NHL for points, the Avs also had the least goals for, the most goals against, the worst power play, and the second worst, that's something at least, penalty kill in the entire NHL. We didn't just hit rock bottom, we sort of hit rock bottom, then got out a drill and dug straight through into some kind of magma pit below. Good news is, this season they're not going to be as bad. Let's not get too excited. I said as bad. They're still going to be pretty bad. Well, now that I think about it, I am kind of curious just how bad they could be if they really put their minds said, No! Bad Brit Puck! Here's the thing. Last season was a bit of a perfect storm of things going wrong for the abs the way I see it. Seemingly everyone got injured at one stage or another. Most notoriously, Eric Johnson's snapped leg, which really hurt the team. Holly was injured again, meaning that Calvin Pickard had to step up and fill in the gaps where he could. I am really glad that we've got a young, promising, new goalkeeper coming up behind him that's just ready to... Oh, bugger that expansion draft. Losing a quality player like that hurts. Am I right, Penguins fans? Now, normally after a season like this, you blast the ground with napalm, pour salt all over it so nothing ever grows there again, and then move several continents away. But interestingly, it seems the Avs are going down a slightly different track here. Far from the fire and brimstone purging many Av fans thought we might see, most of the core group are still here. Sackett's still in charge, Bednar's still in charge, and most of the core player group are still on the team. The biggest real loss seems to be the departure of Mikhail Grigorenko, who's gone back to the KHL, which I imagine is sort of the NHL equivalent of punching the Queen in terms of offensiveness. And of course, after months and months of speculation and rumour, Matt Duchesne traded to... Nobody. Matt is still a member of the Colorado Avalanche as of today. Actually, all year there have been rumours that Duchesne was going to go to any number of teams, from Montreal to Boston to New York. And after all that time, Duchesne is still here, which makes me think that must be for a reason. Now, I said that the Abs are not going to be as bad as they were last year. Now, that's partly because it would be hard for them to be any worse. But it's because this time last year, I genuinely believe the Avs were on the right track. They were heading upwards. Certain members of the team who are not necessarily pulling their weight have yet to be re-signed or have already been traded away. And in their place, we can already see promising rookies who are coming up through the system. Guys like Tyson Just and JT Comfer. After the last season, it is hard for Avs fans to be optimistic. Believe me. Now if, and this is a big if, Bedner can find a way to inspire the core, or if guys within the core can take that leadership role for themselves, guys like Landeskog, Duchesne, McKinnon, Eric Johnson, Tyson Barry, if they can remain healthy and provide that drive, that'll pull the rest of the team with it. If they can do that, there's no reason why we can't start to be making progress. Guys like Carl Soderberg. Carl Soderberg, in the last three seasons, has an average of 48 points a season. Last season, he had 14 Guys like that are good players who just didn't show up last season. But if even some of them return to form, we're looking at a very different picture of the Avs next season. So that's it for this one. Tell me, what do you think? Are you as optimistic about the Avs' future going forward as I am? Or do you think we're going to keep circling the drain? Is Dutch on his way out? Or are we on our way up? Hit like if you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you again soon. I'm Britt Puck, and I'm going for a pint.